I woke up much earlier than normal the next day and found myself impatiently waiting for Eric's announcement. <sighs> this is so boring. I had just started to pace when I noticed something through the window. The snow was gone. While I was looking at the now snow-free garden, a familiar tone sounded. <sighs> Finally! Good morning, I think. He abruptly cut off and a muffled voice could be heard in the background. Ah, uh, it seems everything is ready and just in time, too. Today we'll have a tournament of sorts. A tournament? What kind? Teams will be pitted against each other in a random electronic lottery. There will be three rounds worth a maximum of two points and a fourth round worth four points. The leader may only participate in the final round. And as for the others, choose wisely. Each player is only allowed to participate in a single round. One of my staff will lead you to the tournament arena. Good luck. Right on cue, someone knocked at my door. Miss Archer, I'm here to take you to the arena. He led me to where the rest of my team was waiting. Good morning, Miss Archer. Good morning? What do you think of today's game? It's... Finally, a proper chance to use my skills. Only if your skills are suited. You may just end up failing horribly. Hmm. <laughs> I hope I don't end up holding you guys back. I'm sure you'll do fine. You've proven yourself to be an asset previously. A man came up to us. Miss Archer, your team is team number seven. He handed us badges with the number seven on them before leaving to tell other teams what their numbers were. Lucky number seven? Nice. Eric's announcement tone blared out of the loudspeakers, causing everyone to turn to the elevated stage where he could be seen. Welcome! Now that everyone has arrived and has received their team numbers, we can get this show started. Please draw your attention to the electronic board. Teens will be randomly paired up to face each other in different activities, which will also be randomly decided. The servants will direct you to each activity as well as relay the rules to you. I believe that's all. Good luck out there! We all looked at the board in anticipation, watching as it first paired up teams and then slowly began to output game names. Splatter? What kind of game is that? I'm not sure, but I'm still glad it's not ours. Doggy Run? Pity we didn't get that. It sounds like it'd be right up Mr. Wolf Sally. <laughs> I'm funny. Oh, there's our number. We got... Statues? How do you play statues? Are we supposed to sculpt them or something? No. When did he get here? Please follow me to the game area so I can explain the rules to both teams. We followed him to a small area where the other team was already assembled. The rules are simple. One person from each team must balance a ball on their head without it falling off, and without the use of any other body parts to keep it there. Now, if each team can choose their player, we can start. I turn to my teammates. So, who's up for this? Let me do it. For once, this actually seems like something he can do. Hmm. Well, balancing might be okay. Miss Archer, the other team has already made their selection. If your team could hurry it up. Right. I pick... Mr. Bainages. Show us your stuff, Ace. Right. This one's in the bag. And for once, I agree. Good luck, Mr. Bandages. Huh. I don't need luck. We watched as Mr. Bandages and the other team's representative took their positions with a ball balanced on their heads. The remaining members of each team are free to try and distract those participating, as long as no actual physical contact is involved. Sounds fun! Is that really fair, though? I mean, I'm sure Mr. Bandages can win without us just... Look, Mr. Bandages, your boyfriend has so much faith in you. What? <sighs> You've got it wrong. He's not the boyfriend. Although, if you really want to play games, why don't we show you a real workout after this event is done, of course. Mr. Bandages just pointedly ignored the conversation and stood straight and tall. His opponent, on the other hand, was wobbling back and forth in an effort to keep the ball on his head. One of the other team's members turned to me with a leer on his face. Hey, cutie. How about you and I have some fun later? 
<sighs> Sorry, but I'll pass. Oh, I see how it is. You're playing all three of them at once, aren't you? Still, why don't you ditch these losers and let a real man... Keep talking, and I'll rip your balls off and shove them down your throat. I turned when I heard the thump of one of the balls hitting the ground. The other team's representative was cringing and had his hands in front of his crotch protectively. I... <clears throat> the winner of this game is team number seven. Congratulations, team number seven. You received two points. Mr. Bandages took the ball off his head and looked at it in deep contemplation. He suddenly looked at me with a glare. He does not look happy. Why? We won. I felt an arm settle across my shoulder and turned to see the leery guy from earlier. You caused my team to lose, but I guess you can make it up to me. I don't mind feisty. You're welcome to grab my... I heard a sudden whoosh as a ball came sailing past my head and snapped straight into <coughs> Mr. Leary, causing him to fall backwards. Uh, Mr. Bandages, what are you doing? What? It slipped. <laughs> that slipped way too close to my head. Wait, were you aiming at me? <laughs> what the hell did I do? <sighs> You're an idiot. Why am I an idiot? Even after I picked you for the game? What's your problem? Mr. Bandages ignored me and started walking away. Calm down, Miss Archer. I'm sure you're taking it the wrong way. As I watched Mr. Bandages back, I felt a strange emotion mix with the anger. He suddenly stopped. Stop dallying about. We've got a second round to get ready for. We made our way back to the main arena and waited for the other teams to finish their first round so round two could start. I'm going to get something to drink. I'll be back soon. Make sure you're back before round two, or we will leave without you. The Count nodded before leaving. Was that really necessary? Round one looks like it's winding to a close, so I'd say it was. We watched as the board slowly filled up with the results of round one as each match was completed. There were only a handful of outstanding results when the Count made his way back to us. Did I miss anything? Nothing important. Eric's announcement tone played just as the last result slotted into place. And that's the end of round one! Congratulations to the teams that won this round! But remember, this is only the beginning! Round two follows the same procedure as last time. Remember that the player chosen for the previous round cannot be chosen for this one. That is all, good luck! We watched as the screen matched the team numbers again. Team 14. Isn't that made up of exercise nuts? I wouldn't quite call them that. Still, going up against them in a physical challenge might put us at a disadvantage. What's our activity called? Armed forces. This doesn't sound good. Maybe we'll luck out and the armed forces thing means some sort of tactical game? I'm pretty good at Fire Emblem. Well, we're about to find out. Follow me. He led us to what looked like an army-style obstacle course where the other team was already assembled. Well, crap. The rules are simple. One person from each team must go through the obstacle course. Finishing it first results in two points. If you manage to come in second with less than a minute difference between you and the winner, you will get one point. Anything else will result in zero points. Now if each team can choose their player, we can start. I turn to my teammates. So, who wants to do this one? Those men look really tough, but I'd like to try. I wouldn't mind giving it a shot. I'm not sure how well I do against them, but there's no harm in trying. Not me. I've already done my task. Miss Archer, have you made your decision? Yes. Our team's representative will be Mr. Wolf. You're seriously going to send him up against guys twice his size? Actually, I think this is a good move. Mr. Wolf has speed and maneuverability on his side. It could give him an edge. Exactly. Mr. Wolf doesn't need to be stronger than his opponent just to finish faster. I have faith in him. I... I won't let you down. Please follow me, Mr. Wolf. All right. The man led Mr. Wolf to the start of the obstacle course where the other team's representative was waiting. The man pulled out a starting pistol and fired it into the air. 
both participants race to the first obstacle. I have to admit that Mr. Wolf can run. Yes, but so can his opponent. This will be close. We watched Mr. Wolf speed through the obstacle course, hot on the heels of his opponent. Damn it, he's falling behind! That's not over yet. We watched as the other team's representative reached the final obstacle, a climbing rope, and started to pull himself up. Mm. A few seconds later, Mr. Wolf arrived at the final obstacle. I cheered as he cleared it effortlessly. <laughs> we won! I don't believe it. The winner of this game is team number seven. Congratulations, team number seven. You received two points. Mr. Wolf made his way back to us with a grin. You did it! The Count gave Mr. Wolf a congratulatory slap on the back. Uh, we knew you had it in you. With the way you climbed that thing, you should have been a monkey, not a wolf. Thanks. You must be feeling pretty hot after running around in that, uh, thick outfit. It's hot, but I'll be fine. I just need to take it easy for a while. Would you like to return to the mansion? It's cooler in there. But don't all the team members need to be present for the games? Well, the rules do state that all able members must be present, but I can officially give you leave since you do seem to have overexerted yourself. I don't know. You should go. It's not like you can participate in another round. And if you faint, it'll just be a distraction. Besides, you can always come back out once you're feeling cooler. I guess you're right. See you guys later, then. We watched him walk back to the mansion before making our way back to the arena to wait for the third round. We waited for the other teams to finish their second round so round three could start. We watched as the board slowly filled up with the results of round two as each match was completed. Eric's announcement tone played just as the last result slotted into place. And that's the end of round two. Congratulations to the teams that won this round. Round three follows the same procedure as once before it. Seeing as the leader only participates in the final round, and no player may participate twice, there should only be one player in each team eligible for this round. Good luck to you! That is all. Enjoy! We watched as the screen matched the team numbers again. Team 17. I don't think I know them. Well, you're not exactly the most... <laughs> sociable person. I was honestly surprised that you even knew Team 14. Social. Yes. You aren't very social- No, that's the name of our task, you idiot! Well, that's a coincidence. Please follow me. He led us to a small area where the other team was already assembled. The rules are simple. One person from each team must gather certain items from other people. The quickest to gather all the items gets two points. If you manage to have four out of five items by the time the other team finishes, you will gain one point. Anything else will result in zero points. Now, if the players for this task will retrieve their item list, we can start. I turn to the count. You're up. And it's the perfect task, too. He retrieved his list, scanned it, and then headed off to ask people for the items on the list. We watched as he quickly got the first item, followed by the next. I'm impressed. I guess his skill list really isn't just for show. If anyone's skill list is for show, it would be yours. Whereas yours is just plain useless. Well, damn. I just got fucking wrecked. It's not what's on the paper that counts. <laughs> the last item already? He certainly moves fast. We watched the Count walk over to a young woman. She seemed to be getting redder at every sentence that left his mouth. Looks like she's channeling Mr. Wolf. I wonder if it's working, though. I wonder what kind of an item he needs that'll get that sort of reaction. We watched as the girl looked away shyly before reaching into a small handbag. She looked around for a moment before pulling something out and sliding it into his pocket. The Count smiled at her before turning and making a beeline for us. Do you have everything? Yes. Looks like you've got a few extra things as well. Your team receives two points. <laughs> Figures. She slipped you her number. She, the other girl, and that one guy. Hmm. I wonder if I should be worried. <laughs> Don't worry. There's enough of me to go. 
that all these people are being brainwashed. There's no brainwashing. Just simple charm. Right. Well, let's get back to the arena. Can't wait to find out what my task is. We made our way back to the arena to wait for the final round. Mr. Wolf returned just as the last result slotted into place on the board. Eric's announcement tone played. And that's the end of round three. Congratulations to the teams that won this round. It's time for the final round. This round is for the leaders. It follows the same rules as the previous rounds, but is worth four points. That is all. Good luck. We watched as the screen matched the team numbers again. Team one. That team. Looks like it'll be Miss Archer against the Ice Queen. Uh, fix it? That could be good. The Ice Queen isn't exactly known for her, uh, DIY skills. Like most of the women here. And the men too. Please follow me. He led us to a small area where the other team was already assembled. The rules are simple. The leader will both get a broken plate that they must fix. The first to finish gets four points. Depending on how much more time it takes the other team to finish, they can get anywhere from three to zero points. Now, if the players for this task will... The Ice Queen walked over to me. It's nice to see you again. Um, likewise. These aren't exactly the circumstances I had in mind, but they'll do. I was beginning to think the entire event would pass before we ran into each other again. Yeah... Well, no matter. Good luck! You too! <laughs> right, as I was saying, we can start. Seriously? Fixing a plate? Eric's just having us do his chores now? Oh, I'm Eric Valdemar. Come to my celebrity luxury getaway, but also, please fix my broken dinnerware. <sighs> Could these games get any more ridiculous? The winner of this game is team number seven. Congratulations, team number seven. You receive four points. Team one gains three points for finishing so quickly after Miss Archer. It's not bad to lose to your friend once in a while. Hey, you almost beat me. True, but you won fair and square. It was a pleasure to go up against you. Thanks. It was nice playing against you, too. Well... I should probably get back to my team. I hope we meet again under less... competitive circumstances. Me too! The Ice Queen went back to her teammates and I walked over to mine. You did it! It figures that you'd be good at menial tasks. It just means that she's good with her hands. <laughs> now, let's go back to the arena to see how we ranked. We won every game. We definitely rank the highest. True, but aren't you curious about whether any other teams did so as well? Fine. We made our way back to the arena. We watched as the results of the final match slotted into place on the board. Once the last one was in, the board changed to display the rankings. First, like I said. But we're not the only ones with maximum points. True. It just means we can't get complacent, but if we keep this up, we can win this game. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, we can win. Hmm. Eric's announcement tone caused everyone to stop talking and look toward our host. And that wraps up today's game. Good work, everyone. Now, I'm sure that many of you are especially grateful that tomorrow is a rest day after today's events. Make sure to get plenty of rest and relaxation, because this will be the last one. That is all.